Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guys for photography. Today we are inside On One Photo Road 2022 and we are doing something different today than what I usually do. I usually do landscape photos, but today we are doing this ringtail gleamer. Now I have a small request before we start. If you figure that you like this video after watching for a while, hit that like button. And the same, if you figure that you want to watch more from me, hit that subscribe button. Now let's just get started with this little beast. No, it's not a beast. It's actually quite cute. I want to bring up the shadows quite a bit first. And then let's bring down the highlights a bit. And let's add some blacks to this image and do some contrast. And I think it's fine around there. Let's just play with the midtones. And yeah, that looks good. Now I want to dehaze the image just a little bit. So let's drop it to around there. I think that's fine. Let's hit the auto button on the white balance. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's go into effects. And I sort of want to add some uh, dynamic contrast, but I think we need to paint that in instead of applying it on the entire image. And yeah, it would look a bit better if we painted that in. So I'm going to do that. And when I'm back, I have done the masking here. We are just going to invert the mask before starting. All right, so I'm practically finished with the mask and I do like the mask actually quite a lot. So let's have a look here. Uh, this is without dynamic contrast and this is with dynamic contrast. And I think it makes a big difference. Now I'm going to copy this mask and then I'm going to view the mask and let's play around with the feather here because I don't want to have two sharp edges on the mask here i want to sort of soften the edges just a little bit so if we pull that up all the way you can clearly see that it's making the mask a lot softer and you can see that in the image here as well or the mask overview here but this is of course too much so let's just decrease that a little bit and maybe go for something like that let me just have a look here i just want to paint in more hair as well on the tail uh, just painting that in carefully and i don't want to let the mask bleed out too much so let me do the same up here as well and i think that's fine let's have a look yeah that's pretty good uh, I'm just going to reset the feather and then copy the mask and let's go up on the feather again. So now we have some dynamic contrast. Uh, we can have a look at the uh, animal here and it's a bit unsharp. I think I have shot this at 4.5 or something like that. Yeah, all right. Uh, we need to sharpen it more. So let's go add filter sharpening. And as you can see at 100% here, we are actually over sharpening the image right now. So we need to drop the sharpening a bit. Now you can use the amount slider or you can use the opacity slider. I usually go for the opacity slider and I think it's pretty nice around here. Now on fur, if you over sharp, you create sort of halos around the individual hairs and that doesn't look good. So you need to make sure not to over sharp your images and let's paint the mask in because I only want to sharpen the uh, lemur and not the background. So that looks pretty good to me. Now 
Let's go into local adjustments and I just want to play around with the background this time. So we are actually going into the mask and I'm going to paste the mask in and then I'm going to invert the mask. But at this time I want to have a look at the mask. So I'm hitting the OK again and I can see that the masks are sort of bleeding out to the background just a little bit too much. So I need to refine this mask here so I'm just going outside like this and I'm going to try and have the uh, brush kind of wide and that allows me to have a softer feather and I'm just sliding our hair on the edges just to try and create some softness on the mask itself and I think I'm doing a good job <laughs> and let's see here yeah this is pretty good actually let's just do some around her ear as well and the cheek and yeah something like that I think that works let's hit the OK again and yeah I think I need to do just a bit there that's fine all right so if i hit the ok and we can play with the feather again so you can see that we are feathering out a bit and that works so yeah if we have a look now you can see that we are feathering really a lot there and it's too much so let's back that down or maybe go for no feather at all yeah it seems pretty balanced over there let's try for that uh, for now and of course i can't darken the background too much so let's go for maybe somewhere around here and we can drop the highlights a bit and let's introduce some more contrast to the background and now you can see that we are making the lemur stand out and of course we want to focus on the lemur and not the background so that's the reason why i'm trying to do that and i think it's uh, pretty good let's go and add a new adjustment and let's go and paste the adjustment in let's reset here and what we can try and do now is to add some structure to the fur it might not work but let's try it anyway so let's go up quite a bit so you can see the difference here and you can see that there are clearly a difference but is it too much so this is without the structure and let's add just a little bit like that i think that works better yeah that's pretty good now the lemur is a bit dark so we can try and open up the shadows a bit on that lemur not too much we don't want to go all crazy <laughs> i think that works let's try and play with this uh, contrast as well that's good but I think the background is just a bit too dark because we brighten the lemur we need to sort of do the same for the background so let's go up just a bit there to somewhere around there that looks more realistic let's go into the effects so now we have dynamic contrast we have sharpening we can try to bring out even more details with the tone enhancer so i'm just going to paste the mask in as usual <laughs> and let's hit the details just going to zoom in before we do that let's hit the details and it should bring out some more details in the fur let's see this is without details and this is with the details so it's not a huge difference let's try some clarity yeah that did a good job actually 
let's zoom out and now we have a <laughs> really detailed glimmer and i'm thinking maybe it's too much actually it's not over sharpened but uh hmm. it's a bit too much so let's bring down the opacity to around there i think that works all right so let's now add the vignette and use the big softy and that did a good job i think yeah let's hit the feather here and i want to move the mask just a little bit so for something like this i guess and let's bring up the feather again and i think there this is pretty pretty good actually or maybe we actually want full force yeah i like it around there all right so i think that's it for this image i do like it a lot uh actually it's uh, maybe too detailed so what we can try and do is to lower the opacity for the effects overall or we can do a trick here so she's sitting in the sunshine maybe we could actually add a glow filter and go for normal there and maybe just drop the opacity on it and i think that really yeah that works really well and we still have details in the fur now when using a glow filter a glow filter softens the image and sometimes it softens it too much so you need to make sure that you have some details left so maybe you should go down on the amount or even go down on the opacity overall but for me this image is done it's a pretty nice image and now if you want to buy or try on one raw 2022 hit the link in the description that's a affiliate link so hitting that and uh, downloading or buying will support me a lot actually and will help me out making more videos uh, if you like the video hit the like button if you want to watch more from me hit that subscribe button and thanks a lot for watching and i hope to see you again goodbye mm -hmm.